going on Randy Moop here also known as Fudge Randy today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple carbon fiber logo like this one I've got up on the screen so all you need to do to th for this guys is create a new I new fold document thing um, width 2560 height 1440 revolution 180 make the color mode RJB and make the background color white click OK then you're going to add in a color of the background. So no, we got the color. Yeah, we're gonna change the color of the background to white. If it's not white, then change it. If it is white, leave it. Then we're going to go into filter, render, light lens flare. Now we're not gonna be able to see that, so let's change the background color to black, like so. Filter, render lens flare and keep on 50 slash 300 millimeter zoom change the brightness to about let's see here about one to five percent and then okay then we're going to go into filter filter gallery Okay, here's where it gets tricky. Make sure you're on glass, it's distort glass. Make the duration a hundred twenty percent, sorry. Make the smoothness one percent and make the scaling or you can make the scaling whatever you fancy. You can make it like really small like that. I know it looks weird, so all you're gonna do is control alt U, change it to black and white, and if you're not happy with that guys then go into filter gallery and change the scaling up a little bit we're gonna have 125 click OK and then boom like that the next thing you're gonna do is add in your icon so place get your logo click OK you're gonna if it has white then remove the white so we're gonna go on to the magic wand tool and remove all the little bits of white like so once that is done guys you're gonna you can scale that down a little bit if you want scale it down to about there now you're going to add in your text I'm going to have to scale that down a little bit again in a minute but for the text guys you can download free fonts from DaFont or Google and it is all free something you have to pay for but most of them is free type in your first part of the logo your name sorry I'm going to change the color to white click yes move that down scale that up a bit Scale it to about there. Move the logo over a bit. Scale the logo down. To about there. Move the fuzz in a bit. Okay. Now, if your logo has your first initial of your name on, then you can either do this. You can do that. So it's like the R is beginning of the Randy for me. Or you can just do what I prefer is add in the R and just do it like that. We're going to scale the Randy up a little bit more. So that it fits in with the fuzz nicely. Like so. Once you're happy with what you've completed guys, click shift hold down click on each one of your layers there and click create into new smart object do not insert do not include the background then guys you can move the actual text around and scale it all around click control a click vertical center and click horizontal is that center yep then click control d once that is done guys click on to right click the word the layers then click blended options we're going to drop the shadow 
Opacity is going to be 100. Distance is going to be 0. Spread is going to be 0. And the size is going to be 40. We're actually going to add a bit of distance to that as well. Like that. Inner shadow, we're not going to add an inner shadow in a minute. We're going to go straight on to stain. The stain is going to give it a nice outline. I'm going to put the size up to about 8%. Then we're going to go inner shadow again and leave the inner shadow opacity at 70, 75, what's it like? No, 100%. Distance is going to be 5. Yeah, distance is going to be 5. Chalk is going to be 0 and size is going to be 5. Outer glow, we're going to change the color to white. Opacity is going to be 75. Noise is going to be 0. Spread is going to be 0. And size is going to be. Hmm. 18. Inner glow, we don't want an inner glow. Beveled and emboss is going to be up. Depth is going to stay the same a minute. Softness is going to go up to 16. And size is going to go to around. Let's see here. Around 38. So it's looking like that. And you can leave it as leave it as white like that. That looks pretty cool. Or you can add a stain. Change the color of the stain to whatever color you fancy. So let's try purple, try blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And we're gonna go with blue, light blue. So once you're happy with that click OK, go onto the background, click OK, go onto your black background and go to blended options, glow, <coughs> glow, go onto stain and change the color to whatever you want. If you're happy with the color it already is then keep it as that. But we're going to change it to that color, click OK and boom it's done. That was really easy guys and really simple to do and really quick to learn. I learned that with under about half hour and I created stuff like this. It's really simple to make guys and it's a nice effect to have as a little logo to make. So if you're happy with this guys then let me know, leave a like on the like button, leave a dislike if you don't like it, let me know in the comments what you want to see next and if you want to see more tutorials on Photoshop, also After Effects and Illustration. Let me know what you think guys, hit the subscribe button, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.